My name is uh, Patricia O'Donovan. I live in Jerusalem, in Israel. Um, I'm a performer, an artist. I direct, I design, I perform my own plays. Generally, they are puppet plays. And uh, in the course of my work, I, I traveled a lot abroad, and it was a few years ago in Portugal, I remember, that I first started hearing a very disturbing noise in my ear, all of a sudden, out of the blue, it started. Um, when I came back to Jerusalem, I went to the family doctor and to the clinics, uh, where I have, a, I have a health insurance, and the two or three people that checked me said, uh, there's nothing to do, this is tinnitus, and it's uh, not dangerous, I can live with this, and I have to just get used to it, and that if I want to sleep well at night, I should buy myself a, a, a disc man and listen to music. Uh, what was at the beginning a noise in the ear uh, became increasingly m more spread out. It, it went. It was like a whole head noise. I called it. It was not a tonal, uh, like a tone or something in one ear, but it was like a, the whole a whole soundscape all around the brain, and was tremendously getting louder and louder. I, if I had to describe it, it was like being in a field, uh, a, sum, a, a summer afternoon in a field full of crickets. And you can add on, uh, on that uh, the noise of a, of a computer and a refrigerator all together. And um, I knew that this was, it, it, it was terribly disturbing. I, I was only busy with this, with this problem from the moment I woke up till the evening thinking about it. It, it disturbed my my work. It disturbed. Uh, it was first of all very frightful. I I didn't even know that such a thing exists. And to hear a weird noise inside the brain was is terribly frightening. And when I heard that there is no cure, um, it was also tre tremendously depressing. I'm a very, very happy person, and if I contemplated suicide, it was just because I I could not bear the idea of ruining my life this way because it was really ruining my life. Um, I had, it came together with other symptoms like uh, horrible headaches and um, weird sensations that ran down my cheeks and heat coming out of my ears for, for, and pain sometimes in my ears. Um, sometimes I, I, had, I had a period I remember of hyperacusis which is uh, a kind of magnification of, of noises. When I was washing things in the sink, it was like uh, ten times louder and it was very irritating. Anyway, I, I of course couldn't settle with uh, an answer that there is no cure, so I looked in the internet and I found that uh, there is somebody proposing a cure. And to my amazement, this person was in Israel. And even more amazing, he was in my own city. So this is how I contacted Dr. Shemesh and eventually I became his patient. So I'm with tre uh, in treatment with him for the last three and a half or four years, I think, four years. Um, we are taking it very gradually. It started uh, first with the diet and then adding medication, and it has always given a, a good result. I started feeling a difference after eight months of treatment, and now I feel a tremendous difference. I, I still have a noise which I hear all the time, if I am in a quiet environment. That means if I am alone at home and it's quiet, or if I, when I put my, my, my bed on the pillow, the moment I am outside in the street, uh, that I just completely forget about it. Most of the time, I completely forget about it. And it is anyway at a level where it doesn't disturb my life anymore in any sense. I um, tell Dr. Shemesh that even if it remained as it is now, I could, I'm, I could live perfectly well with it. Um, so I hope that people who are desperate and who felt uh, desperate like I did and like many people, I'm sure, they should know that there is, there is hope, that uh, one needs patience, and I'm sure that there, there will be a, an improvement or a cure like I am experiencing now.